Hey guys, Wallen Customs here, and today we are taking a look at the DC Multiverse, and this is Aquaman right here. This is another Aquaman figure we have from the movie. This one has only pants on and a sh no shirt, but he does come up a new Build-A-Figure head for uh, Steppenwolf, which is pretty cool. Take a little back. Here is everything right there. You could actually get a new Parademon, which is pretty cool. Let's open him up. Alright guys, so here is Aquaman in the box, and he does come with two accessories, which is part of the Build-A-Figure set right here. It is a uh, new head for uh, Steppenwolf, which actually has a detachable helmet, which is pretty nice. Alright, so here is the older one that came with the original set right here, and the helmet is not detachable. This is pretty good looking, I don't mind it at all. Uh, good sculpting on overall, looks pretty nice. Uh, this is the new one right here, as you can see. Uh, looks pretty good, you know, not that bad. I didn't know he was bald underneath, so there you go. Actually, I didn't. Probably in the movie you see him without his helmet, but uh, I didn't really notice it. And this is how he looks like side by side with the new one and the old one. I kind of prefer the fact that he could take his helmet off. I like that. It's pretty good. He had more possibilities in posing and doing cool stuff. But overall, they're both pretty good. I don't think you're missing that much when it comes to qual uh, sculpting. They look pretty good, both of them. Colors a little bit different, a little bit more vibrant on the new one, uh, but they're both pretty good. All right, so here is Aquaman out of the box himself, and he looks that—he's not that bad to be honest. He's pretty good, and a lot of people were criticizing this figure and really just wanted the step move head. But he's not a bad figure. It's a nice alternative to have if you don't want him in his armor. You know, this is a nice walk around Aquaman. Maybe get him a vest or something like that from your box of stuff. Uh, everyone has a vest lying around someplace. Uh, but overall, he looks pretty good. The body looks pretty nice. I don't have the original BVS Aquaman when he had like the armor and stuff like that. I, t I literally took that one apart for customs. But uh, I like this one. It's not bad. It's kind of growing on me as I'm doing this review, to be honest. Uh, but looking at the head straight on, let's try and look at that. Not bad. Pretty good. Uh, pretty much the same one as the Justice League one that we got. Uh, I'll do a comparison for that later, but going down to the rest of the body, the tattoos look pretty good. They're a little bit blue. Uh, my camera might be making it more blue than it really is, but it is kind of blue. I think they're going for like a gray color, to be honest, because that's how sometimes tattoos tend to look like after a while. So I could see where they were going with that. Uh, but it looked good. It didn't look that bad. Here's the back. There's a lot more on the back, so it looks pretty nice. Uh, but pretty, pretty basic, pretty nice. Uh, and his pants are just normal pants, nothing special about them. And he has f no shoes on because he's swimming, you know, he's gonna go swimming. Uh, no detail, literally no detail on his feet though. Now going to articulation really quickly, he has a ball drained head, goes left and right. Doesn't go up or down that much though, it's pretty limited. Uh, going oh, to his shoulders on hinge joints that rotate all the way around, looks pretty good. Up and down, no problems there at all. Bicep swivel, one point at the elbow right there which is pretty good no problems there it doesn't rotate it seems like and at the wrist you have a wrist swivel right there uh, he does have an ab joint as well goes down a little bit not that much goes back barely it just pretty much straightens up so I mean at least he has an ab joint right so he has something sometimes some of these figures only have ab joints so at least we have something right there uh, waist swivel right there very decent uh, T joint and hips, they go about that far, not quite 90 degrees, which is kind of sad. They don't, they don't go back. Split wise, he has plenty of that right there. Uh, thigh swivel over here, one point at the knee, which is pretty good, right there. And at the ankle, he does have a hinge, but no pivot, so it's pretty standard right there. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty standard figure. He doesn't come with any more accessories, no trident, nothing like that, but I don't think he's supposed to have one in this instance because this is when he was like talking to Bruce Wayne, took his jacket off and just whoop, into the water. So, uh, you know, it's a nice figure to have. Like I said, if you're, doing, if you're doing ACBA, it might be a good figure to have in a specific environment or picture you're trying to take of them laying back, hanging out. You know, Aquaman's always shirtless and stuff like that. The body's not bad. Um, I had to compare him right now with the other figures to see how it looks like. Uh, Arms look good, body looks okay, there's no abs, but I'm okay with that. Not everyone has a six pack. You know, Aquaman does have a six pack, I believe, but you know, sometimes he doesn't, though. So, whatever. Can't be picky. 
Size comparison right here. So here he is with the Justice League Aquaman right there, which I like a lot. It's pretty nice. And this is my little custom Aquaman that I'm always messing around with here and there using a standard DC Universe base. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, it doesn't look that bad at all. Let's put him to the side, actually. And let's take a look at these two side by side because, you know, this is how he would be with the armor on. This is how he is without the armor. And it's pretty comparable. It's not bad. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, Size-wise, it looks pretty decent how he should be. It's a little bit sm shorter, but he has no shoes on, so I guess it makes up for it. It's not bad. And here is some of the other leaguers from different companies as well. And he, look, he looks pretty good. I have no problems with him right here at all. Um, I'm not going to do a comparison with the other Superman or Batman figures because they are trash to me. Uh, but yeah, I like the figure. It looks pretty good. Uh, size is pretty nice and no complaints here. Alright, so overall I like the figure a lot. You know, I just really wanted the figure because of the Build-A-Figure new head for Steppenwolf. But I have to admit, this is not a bad figure at all. It's pretty cool. Um, I didn't think I would like it this much, to be honest. It's a nice laid-back Aquaman, so it's nice to have him in your collection, and you can use him for different scenarios and pictures for ACBA. So that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at awhileoncustoms.com. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace!